concerning the moon landing, new lunar samples don't match Apollo 11's, according to China scientists, and they're baffled. Apollo 11, July 16 to 24, 1969, the space flight that first landed humans on the moon, Commander Neil Armstrong, Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin, formed the American crew that landed the Apollo Lunar Module Eagle on July 20th. And of course, they brought lunar material back to Earth. And uh, the uh, command module pilot was Michael Collins. So, what's happening with these samples? Moon rock samples collected by China's Chang-5 spacecraft, considerably younger than anything collected by NASA's Apollo mission, and scientists have no idea why they're so much younger. Now, we know that the Chang-3 and 4, uh, this is the far side of the moon where they landed. They've also collected pictures, and this is a very strange image by the Chang rover, a uh, shard on the moon, and a black box as well. These are China Chang images of structures on the moon. There seems to be another black box in the distance now that I see it. Very strange. And this is the, uh, these are the components of the drills and the uh, modules and the cameras. So they found samples that were much younger than the Apollo 11 samples. Chang 5's mission in 2020 marked China's fifth ever venture to the moon. It was the country's first sample return mission from the moon as well. The Chinese spacecraft landed on the moon December 1st, targeting a region previously unexplored by the US astronauts or Soviet probes. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So they landed in an area where the uh, US and Russian missions did not land and they found this rock was a lot younger. Now was it of course we don't know if it was dust from a comet or an asteroid impact. We don't know. So um, it was the first sample return mission for China. This was the first uh, mission since the Soviet Union Luna 24 in 1976 and made China only the third country to collect samples from the moon when Chang 5 landed back to Earth December 16 of last year. And of course, it was hailed a great success for Chinese space program. The mission provided fascinating new insight into the moon's history. As we said, the Chang missions also brought back very strange images of moon artifacts, and we don't we have questions about them. The rock and dust collected in the moon's Oceanus Procellarum region, ocean of storms, appeared to be much younger than previously collected lunar samples. The site was chosen by Chang 5's landing because it creates suggested the uh, it uh, suggested it was younger than the area surveyed by Apollo and the Luna missions of Russia, and in total the Chang 5 spacecraft returned to Earth about se uh, uh, 8.81 pounds, 1.73 kilograms of lunar rock and dust as well. So after the analysis of these lunar materials by China, they confirmed that volcanism on the moon occurred much later than previously thought, and that has proven to be something of a scientific conundrum. Volcanism on the moon? So according to the report in space.com, scientists first dated a fragment of lunar rock samples at about 1.97 billion years ago, this was done of October of last year by researchers at Washington University in St. Louis. At that time, Professor Brad Jolliffe, director of University's McDonald Center for Space Studies, called it a perfect sample to close a two billion year gap. Up until then, all rock samples collected by Apollo missions between 1969 and 1972 were found to be older than three billion years old. Professor Jolly said, and all of the young impact craters whose ages have been determined for our, from the analysis of samples are younger than a billion years old, so the Chang 5 samples fit a critical gap. This study published in the journal Nature magazine 
has now used a similar dating method on a different lunar sample and found the lunar rocks to be about 2.03 billion years old. So I guess it depends on what sampling method for aging the, the rocks you use. Both studies seemingly confirmed volcanic activity on the moon in this part of the moon about a billion years after the regions surveyed by NASA and the Soviet Union were already geologically dated by that time. So these new findings shed new light on the layer of rock directly below the moon's crust. James Head III, a professor of geological sciences at Brown University, co-author of the first paper, said, this means that the mantle had sufficient internal deep mantle heat two billion years ago to continue to melt mantle material and produce extrusive mare basalts. So these, uh, there, were, there was volcanism on the moon. But scientists have so far been unable to figure out why this part of the moon remained active so late in the moon's history. Joshua Snape, planetary scientist at the University of Manchester said, the jury is still out on how and why the late stage of volcanism occurred on the moon. According to one theory, this part of the moon might have been abundant in creep heat producing elements, potassium, rare earth elements, and also phosphorus. But the analysis of Chang-5 samples failed to find significant levels of creep, K-R-E-E-P, in the lunar rocks. Dr. Snape said, perhaps we need to consider whether tidal heating caused by the stretching and squeezing by gravitational interactions between the Earth and the Moon and Sun could be a larger factor than anticipated. So you can imagine, I mean, we have all these uh, volcanoes going off on the Earth and tremendous uh, earthquakes. But uh, the moon is much, it's about a quarter of the size of the Earth. And so uh, it could be that moon's tectonics play a, a, a very great part in that. So according to NASA, the moon formed when a Mars-sized body slammed into the Earth. The resulting debris was cast into space, eventually coalescing into a single satellite about 239,000 miles from our Earth's surface. And that is our natural moon that we see today. This is by Express UK Sebastian Ketley. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support, especially uh, concerning these strange artifacts that Chang find, found, the shard and the black boxes uh, on the far side of the moon. Thank you for your support.